Welcome to Solving Word Problems, another course from ultimatealgebra.com. Please get the full course at ultimatealgebra.com forward slash word problems or use the link below. This course will look at word problems in a different way. We promise you this will be the easiest and most helpful word problem course. The Simpsons have three children, John, Michael, and Ellen. Mrs. Simpson only remembers Ellen's age, which is 12 years. She knows that John is five years older than Ellen, and Michael's age is three less than Ellen. What are the ages of John and Michael. Before we actually solve this problem, let's look at some basic expressions. This will be easy for most of you. Addition expressions. The following words implies addition. 1. Increased by 2 more than, three, some, four, comparative words that denotes more than, longer, faster, taller, and so on. Example, the expression three increased by five can be written as three plus five. The expression two years older than B can be written as B plus two. Let's now look at some common subtraction expressions. The following words means subtraction. One, decreased by. Two, less than. 3. Difference. 4. Comparative words that denotes less than, smaller, shorter, lighter, and so on. Example, the expression for 20 less than x can be written as x minus 20. With this basic expressions, let's go back and solve our problem. The first thing we know is that there are three children. Let's represent them this way. J for John's age, M for Michael's age, and E for Ellen's age. The next information we are given is Mrs. Simpson remembers Ellen's age, which is 12. We can write 12 for Ellen's age. E equals 12. The next information is John is five years older than Ellen. We know that older than represents addition. So we have E for Ellen's age plus 5 equals John's age. But we already know Ellen's age, so we can simply do 12 plus 5 to get 17. The next information is Michael's age is 3 years less than Ellen. Again, we know we represent less than as minus. We have E minus 3 equals M. This will be 12 minus 3, which is 9. Therefore, John's age is 17 years, and Michael's age 
is nine years. Please pay extra attention to what the problem is asking for. Here, the question is about the age of John and Michael. There can be so many twists to this problem, but if you just follow and write down what is going on sentence by sentence, you will not miss the correct answers. Let's look at the same question and put a twist to it to make it more difficult. Question two. The Simpsons have three children. John is the firstborn. Michael is the second. And Ellen is the third born. The sum of the ages of the third born and second born is the same as the age of the first born. Michael is two years older than Ellen. If Michael's age is 13, what is John's age? Here again, your work is to read each sentence and extract the information. First, we know there are three children. The next set of information we know is John, who we represent by J, is the firstborn. Michael, who we represent by M, is the secondborn. And Ellen, who we represent by E, is the thirdborn. The next information is the sum of the ages of the thirdborn and secondborn is the same as the firstborn. We know sum means addition. We also know the thirdborn is Ellen and the secondborn is Michael. So we can say E plus M equals J. The next information we know is that Michael is two years older than Ellen, which we know we can represent by E plus 2 equals M. The last information given is that Michael is 13 years. We have M equals 13. Since we know Michael's age now, we can solve for Ellen's age from this equation. E plus 2 equals M. Now M is 13. So we have E plus 2 equals 13. We solve for E and get E equals 11. This means Ellen is 11 years. To find John's age, which is what the question is asking, we know that E plus M equals J. We know Ellen's age to be 11 and Michael's age to be 13. We add the two to get 24. John is therefore 24 years. Mastering the order of solving. We noticed that as we write our word problem into algebraic expressions, some equations are generated. We solve the equations in order of which ones are solvable first. This is one of the most important aspect of solving word problems. 
Example 1. We are assuming you read a word problem, and these are the equations you got. 1. A plus 2C equals B. 2. 2A equals B. 3. B equals 40. We want to find A, B, and C. Here we notice that we know B to be 40. We can work on equation 2 by replacing the B by 40. 2A equals 40. We can divide by 2 to get A equals 20. Now we know both A and B, so we can find C in equation 1. We have 20 plus 2C equals 40. We know how to do the simple equation. We move the 20 to get 2C equals 40 minus 20. 2C equals 20. C equals 10. When substitution is the only way. In the examples we looked at, one of our equation gave us a value which helped as to easily solve. In the first example we had 3 m equals 13. The third equation m equals 13 made it very easy to solve because we have a value. There are many instances where the only solution is to use the substitution of other variables. Example. Assuming we have this three equations after reading a word problem. 1. A plus B plus C equals 100. 2. B equals A plus 2. 3. C equals A plus 8. You will notice that we cannot solve this easily because we don't have any value for a letter we can use. For questions like this, we want to substitute such that we have an equation with only one letter or variable. In this particular example, we can substitute the B in equation 1. So we have A plus. Now, instead the B, we put A plus 2. Then we have plus C equals 100. We want to have just A terms in the first equation, so we want to substitute the C also. We substitute for the C and have A plus A plus 2 plus a plus 8 equals 100. Note that C equals A plus 8. Now, since the only letter or variable we have is A, 
we can group the terms and solve. We have a plus a plus a equals 100 minus 8 minus 2. 3a equals 90. Therefore, a equals 30. Now we have a value, so we can easily solve for b and c using equations 2 and 3 respectively.